Lamb bacon is one of my favorite unique meaty preparations and it is as easy to make as apple pie. First, you'll need to locate a full lamb belly, probably from a local butcher shop. Then measure out by weight, kosher salt, Instacure number one, aka pink salt, and black molasses. To prep the lamb belly, I lay it out on a sheet pan. Next, I will try and remove all the sinew so that the salt mixture can fully and easily penetrate the meat. Okay, what I like to do for the cure mix is make a little slurry by adding everything into cold water and mix until blended. This is going to help get the cure mix into all the little cracks and crevices. Then I just simply pour it over the belly and rub it in as best as possible. I like to roll it up and place it in a food grade plastic bag. Try and get as much air out as possible. I like to let it cure for 14 days, but you can probably get away with 10 days. Every other day, you'll need to overhaul it, meaning redistribute all the juices from the cure that have ran off and look for any salt that hasn't dissolved and rub it in. Okay, after 14 days, I'll take it out of the bag and rinse it under cold water. Then I'll just pat it dry. This next step is something new I'm going to try by using transglutaminase, aka moo glue. This should help bind the protein together to hopefully make an appearance of a solid piece of meat during cooking. I usually just sprinkle a little bit on, but I'm going to make a slurry by adding four parts water to one part transglutaminase. I'll just quickly mix it up with this little stick blender. Okay, to add the meat glue, I'm just going to use this silicone barbecue brush. This will help with it getting in all the little nooks and crannies. Okay, once I feel that there is a sufficient amount of moo glue, I'll roll up the lamb belly and tie it off. Starting in the middle and working your way out and then in between each tie, will give you a very nice and tight roll. For the meat glue to work best, I read that it's better to let it sit 24 hours in the refrigerator, so that's what I did. Okay, 24 hours later, and it's ready for a smoking. Here I have my charcoal grill burning at a very low temperature with just a handful of hickory wood chips to add flavor. I'll just put the lamb belly off center and away from direct heat, as I'm not really looking to cook the meat too much. I personally like a light to medium smoke flavor, so I'll just keep the lamb belly on the grill for two hours maximum. This looks absolutely perfect. Okay, now to actually cook the bacon, I'll be using my kitchen oven. Using this Taylor oven thermometer, I'll cook the lamb bacon at 250 degrees until the internal temperature of the meat is 145 degrees. This should take about two more hours. Oh my dear, look how beautiful this has turned out. Now, it's best to let it fully cool down before cutting into it. But, if you can't help but slice off a bit of this flavor, dripping, unctuous piece of meat, I will not shame you. Okay, now that it's fully cooled down, let's take a look at this art piece. Wow, that's really something else. Nature is so beautiful, and I can't wait to try it. I'm just going to see how it cuts on my slicer machine here. Beautiful coils. Okay, to fry it up, I always put a pan on medium to low heat to get a full render of the fat and to crisp up the meat. As a side note, and as you can see here, the moo glue did not work as well as I would have liked it to by keeping the coil look together during the cooking process, but it did not in any way impact the flavor. I can't even tell you how incredible the house smells right now. Sheesh, look at that. Crispy goodness, I'm literally salivating. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you.